Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. This will be your September 2021 money, career, and finance reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. So let's see. What do you need to know about your career or business? Five of Swords. Okay. We'll clarify these cards. I'm just going to get the first cards out. How, what can you do to move forward? I paste this. How can you be more financially successful? Where or what do you need to improve? What or whom is an obstacle you need to overcome? What is coming in the near future? And what or whom is helping you? And your potential outcome. Okay. Bottom deck we have six of cups. <clears throat> so there's memories. There's something coming back around maybe. There's, um, there might be a job or a situation <clears throat> returning from the past, or you might be thinking about the way things were done in the past, and maybe in your current job or situation, maybe they're changing things, and, you, and they're doing things differently, that you like, like it better the way they did before. Okay, let's start trying to clarify here. So, what do you need to know about your career or business? And we have the five of swords. Now, that looks like someone holding back someone maybe you know I feel like you're not getting all the credit for something that's what I'm feeling like here that someone's holding back on giving the credit for what you do I think they might even take be taking credit for your work but let's see what we get clarify this five of swords please yeah, heartache Wow. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling like. Someone hurt you. It could be at where you work. Someone stabbed you in the back, I feel like almost. It's like someone really hurt you, though. And it's like they're offering you something. But it's not... They're like offering you this one cup. But there is potential. You should be getting three cups is what I'm feeling. That they're not giving you everything you deserve. So it looks like... You might be leaving this job, leaving this position, or maybe leaving a department, leaving something to go to something better because you don't like the way you're getting treated. Look, the sun's on the bottom deck here again. Wow. Okay. So happiness is coming here. And we have the high priest. What can you do to move forward? Use your intuition. Um, realize that there's things that you know that other people don't know. There, You have a lot of hidden knowledge. You have a lot of knowledge that other people aren't um, able to tap into. It's like either you know more than the others as far as like things, the way the, this company structure works or the way something works, or it could be just the fact that you are actually better qualified, more educated, and that's, that's being hidden. Okay, so let's see. Let's clarify this high priestess. Emperor, yes, you are the Emperor. Aries energy. Queen of Swords. And that's your energy, or Aquarius, or Libra. And the Knight of Wands. Yes, yeah, so it looks like you're coming into your power. So, between the High Priestess and Emperor, you have a lot of clout. You have a lot of power. And um, you're able to cut out what is not good for you. And I, th I really think you are moving on. You're moving on to something different. There's um, something you're moving on to something that you feel more passionate about. Okay, what about the star here? Well, and, and this for how can you be more financially successful? And you're shining bright. You have, you have everything you need being the star here. This is your wishes come true. You have everything. You don't need anything else. But let's see what else we get on this. Balancing things out. Two of Pentacles. 
you know, getting recognized for your work. And here we have the fool. We have the fool right here too. So this is starting something new here. You um you will be financially successful when you actually show who you really are that you are above the rest that you know more that you are doing more and you're not getting credit for it and you have to show the world this is who you are and you got to take that leap of faith okay so now here's what are where do you need improvement we have the full card that is taking the initiative that's changing that's taking that that um that chance to do something different to do or to speak up to to be noticed for how unique and how original and you know just taking a new beginning here so let's see we have the king of pentacles wow the star again and the king of swords look at that power y you i think well, either you have to go to your bosses and let them know the star that you are, that you want this new beginning. You might have two bosses. One might be an earth sign, one might be an air sign. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and then Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Or this is just your energy saying that you're capable. You're very smart. You're very stable. You're very secure. And I, you might have to go and say, hey, listen, I deserve this promotion or I deserve this or go for buy for another job and just say you know you are the star you have the star here twice you the cards are in your favor here it's weird because you have the star but on here and here and you have the um, full on each one so you're you're unique you're um, there's a new beginning there's definitely a new beginning here for you guys okay so well our home is the optical you need to overcome and we have the two of cups this partnership you're in a partnership maybe that's not good for you maybe this partnership is not equal let's see work you put a lot of work in completion something's done yeah something is over with it might be a partnership that's done it's that it's over now and you need to start something new or it um could be something's coming back around to you here we have this um knight of cups here someone might be coming in with an offer here for you could be offer of love and maybe with this offer if it's a soulmate connection maybe that will help you to go in a different direction with this person but we do have like the the eight of pentacles working on something and we have the world card so something something's completed but there could be something coming back in now for the um what is coming in the near future we have an ending here something's ending that is and once this ends it's going to be completely over this had to be something that was very painful that you know you want to be over so let's see let's clarify this ten of swords wow we have to balance things out temperance the devil yeah there might have been something that ended that was toxic situation there might have been um for some it'll be too much drinking instead of like nine cups is usually you know your wish fulfillment it also could represent it's supposed to be next to a devil card trying to balance things out someone might have been over drinking and this is ending now this is if someone had a problem with uh, drugs or alcohol or something like that they're balancing themselves out they're they're ending this um toxic behavior this whatever this energy is this devil stands for um capricorn energy sagittarius energy but this is coming to an end and that's come, that's happening in the near future so whatever this or if it's, you work in an environment that was too toxic and um, maybe people were drinking or um, doing drugs you're ending that to move on to something better to move on to something that's gonna balance you out okay how about this Sun card here for what or whom is helping you and we got the Sun that could be a Leo that could be just someone that is really makes you happy is coming in to help you bring you out of this cold and feeling left out and we have the empress card wow so here we have with the empress this is um bring you your um creativity you're able to start something new anything you uh, work on is going to flourish and you put in the work you you done you know you paid your dues here so now this is coming in to bring you a lot of happiness this could be a taurus or a libra we have a um leo here when them can be coming in to help you help you to build the business build your build your um reputation or back you somehow 
to say how creative you are, how um, how much you have put into the business or the company or whatever you're working for. That you've been instrumental in helping them grow. That you could take a project and you could run with it. That you're really good. Okay. Now, your potential outcome. You got the Seven of Cups. Whoa, got the Seven of Cups again. You have many options. So this is coming up a lot. People are noticing your work. They know how, how what a good worker you are. And you're going to get more options here. What else we have here? And we have the King of Cups. Wow. So we have the King of Swords, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. Of course, we already have the Emperor here. Let's get one more. Yes, moving away from something. You are definitely moving on. It seems like that's the energy I'm getting for people in, as far as their work. They Moving on from something. There's something better out there for you. And you're going to move away from it. You might be moving away from a, um, a water sign, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and to find something better. It doesn't have to be. Um, this person could even be helping you move on to something better, getting you a better job better position somewhere but this is getting away from the rough water and moving to something better it definitely feels like a movement and you're not happy where you're at and you're gonna move on to something better and it's gonna bring in the Sun so it's gonna be happiness and then there's gonna be an offer coming in here page of Pentacles a new job offer a business offer uh, some type of proposition and it might took a while to come but it's coming and it might not seem that big but I think it can grow into something really big and this is Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy but there's definitely something coming towards you we have this um Knight of Cups we have the, the Knight of Wands yeah there's people coming towards you with offers you just have to decide which will be the best offer for you because you are you do stand out above the rest you get a lot of attention let's see you know what this um six of wands here and then we have the star here twice and yet you're the empress you're the, um you have the empress and the emperor you have a power couple here you might be hooking up with someone that um that you guys work really well together and you make a very powerful team that's what could be coming in too because this is, says, what can you do to move forward? And this is become your em become the emperor. You become the emperor. That help you move forward. Come into your power. And who's helping you? It's the empress. So you have your sidekick here. You have someone that's got your back. But this also could represent your energy. Because I feel like you're very creative here. Um, people realize how hard you work. And this is showing. So you're and you're gonna get recognized for it because you definitely are because you got the six of wands and you get the star card coming on here twice here. So you are getting noticed. You're getting attention for the work that you do. Let me just throw a couple more cards on this for you guys. See what else we can get. Okay, yeah, you're gonna mend this broken heart. There's a lot of pain. I think it's pain with this whatever kind the job you're in right now, the position you're not you're not happy there. And you're trying to make your life balance out. There's not an even balance. You might be working too hard. And there's I think there's people that are sneaky around you. They might be having you do all the work and they could sneak off and have some fun. Seven of Swords, but they get caught though. You see that guy underneath the moonlight there, and you see this bird squawking. You know, they're not getting away with anything. A Knight of Cups. Someone's coming in with a love offer, too. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces does not have to be, but we have that here twice. Someone is interested in making a love offer to you. Could be any suit, but it's, and you're walking away from something. You're ending something. You're definitely ending something. And when it's over, it's going to be over. The devil guard. Capricorn. Could be very strong Capricorn energy, but it's also this ending. It's weird how it came right after that one again. It's an ending to a behavior of obsessing. 
overindulging in something. You're ending that energy. And you're looking for something new coming in. You're making a choice. And it's going to balance you out. A lot of balance here, I feel. And it's going to bring you into financial abundance here feeling very secure financially so whatever you're doing here it's going to work in your favor because you you are the star you're standing out here it's your wish fulfillment here a lot of hope with the star someone's thinking about you though you're on their mind quite a bit day and night king of swords Okay, we have the King of Swords here twice. So, yeah, this is, I think you're coming into your power, into your intellect, really using your um, brains here, figuring out what you want. People are noticing how smart you are. And it's, you know, starting something new. You might be going on a whole new path here, just taking a leap, faith, learning something new. And um, that's why I feel like you are. You're learning something new. You're starting something new. You're just going in a different direction. You weren't happy where you're at. It felt stagnant. So now you're moving on. And it's going to work in your favor. Because people are noticing. I, I don't know what happened with this. That these things are always falling down now. <sighs> Alright. Well, I hope you like this reading, Gemini. Mom, please let me know if resonate. Take what does resonate. Leave what doesn't. It doesn't have to all work for you. And um, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.